Italy was the hub of the Renaissance and we've got artists in this room who echoed on the styles of big artists working in Rome at the time. These works in this room are plaster casts, copies of artworks originating in Italy. They come from a mix of ancient works to Italian works. There's a couple of original artworks in here too and the reason why it is so famous is because it is a copy. They've been given this new life, freshly clean, seeing them in their sort of rightful way in such a beautiful space as well. It's nice that a lot of these artworks do come from across the globe and that they're all in one space kind of makes this sort of little gallery the next big thing. I'm John Beck. I'm the founder and manager of a project called Scan the World. And Scan the World is the largest community-built initiative or archive of 3D printable sculptures or objects of cultural significance from across the globe. I work very closely with museums with the intention of opening up their data to the world on an open license. So a lot of museums are doing that in 2D but don't have the resources to do it in 3D, which is where I come in to help with a free end-to-end -end service of scanning the sculptures before processing them into 3D printable models and uploading them to the museum's profile on Scan the World and depending on sort of their outcomes and what sculpture collections they have whether it's really big things or really really small things I go in and I set up my scanner and basically just get to work <laughs> There's so much story behind every single artwork, whether it's an original or it's a copy, which is quite beautiful. And so working with each member of staff in the museum who want to tell a different story about their collections is great. After collecting all of that raw data, I turn it into 3D models. We work on them by hand by making them 3D printable before they're released openly on My Mini Factory or on Scan the World, free to download. We try and push for CC0, so open source, as culture should be liberated and available to anyone. The origins of casting, which came about in the 1800s, to encourage the copying of artworks with the intention of making art more accessible and more available for people to view, people to engage with, but also for more people to study. Fast forwarding to the 21st century where we have such democratized technologies and the ability to make copies in this sort of way really does echo the original intentions and what 3D scanning is enabling us to do. What's happening across the world is a lot of destruction. Artworks and cultural heritage is kind of disappearing before our eyes. And this is not to say that 3D scanning and 3D printing is going to replace those objects, but in a way it creates a blueprint of what the artwork or the culture used to be so that future generations can learn from it and get some idea of their, their cultural past. I've been using Shining 3D products for a while now for gathering data of objects small and large, which other scanners aren't able to do. Plus, when I'm working on a budget as a nonprofit, I don't have the resources to be able to spend a lot of money. What Shining has been able to do for me is to let me scan things a lot quicker or scan larger things. The quality is very, very nice for the price that you pay. Scanning is still a, quite a high level entry technology, but what Shining is being able to do is to create an accessible, affordable product which still produces very good results for a wider range of, of industries. For me, working with sculptures, I haven't found any issues so far and with working with marble and plaster sculptures and even bronze sculptures. Einscan has been able to solve all of these problems for me. There's a lot going on with Scan the World. There's one side of education, unlocking these artifacts so that more people can learn about them or manipulate them or have their own say on their cultural heritage. Art doesn't need to be a static object in a museum space, that it can come out of the museum's walls. With Scan the World, it's in a way a museum without walls. Scanning and sharing and digitizing and all of this stuff lowers the value of an artwork, but in ways I don't believe that's true at all. I think it augments it. 
the more people in this generation and this age who find out about a sculpture and they want to learn so much about it and when it's sort of shared around the world more and more people hear about it and if anything that raises the value of it exponentially. A museum or an individual can one tell a story about their heritage but also at the same time there's a lot of passion which goes especially behind my community who want to spend a lot of time on sharing their artworks and with that comes really beautiful sort of grassroots stories from all over the world.